Some common mistakes that I see when clients come in after they have fallen at a, a local venue in Orlando, Florida, such as a theme park or a shopping center, is that oftentimes there's a failure to preserve evidence. In these slip and fall cases, oftentimes there's a certain element that has caused this slip and fall to occur. For example, if you're at a local um, shopping or food venue, there may be some type of liquid or other item on the floor that caused the fall. And this item may be removed or may be discarded after you have left the scene. And after that, that could become an important and contentious issue in your case. So what I recommend is uh, to avoid those problems is to make sure that if you can, if you're physically able to, or if someone nearby is physically able to, is make sure to document that scene as, as detailed as possible. If you have your cell phone or if you have a camera, take pictures of the area, take pictures of your injury, take pictures of uh, the employees, get names, um, recognize, you know, so, you, so you can recognize the, the people that were there or the employees that were there and attended to you because uh, many people uh, get surprised when they try to go back and get this information. Maybe those employees are no longer working there. Um, the scene will be cleaned or that uh, material that may have caused you to fall will be long gone by that time. So very important in those types of cases is to make sure that you document uh, the scene, what may or may not have caused you to fall, and your injuries. Uh, another thing that I see that can affect a slip and fall case in Orlando, Florida is the failure to get an incident report or have the store file an incident report. Many times when I have clients come in and I ask for that incident report, they tell me that one wasn't offered to them or they weren't given a copy of the one that they filled out. So these are things that could affect your case in the future. One, make sure that an incident report gets filled out. And then number two, get a copy of that incident report. After all, it is your incident and it's your name or your signature most likely on that document. So that's something that you should be able to get from those uh, companies or those businesses and that will help you in the future. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you get with an attorney that has handled slip and fall cases in Orlando, Florida. That's uh, a mistake that I often see uh, some clients make. I get clients that come in oftentimes that they've been represented by other attorneys who are not familiar with this specific type of, of case and uh, we have to take over the case and then we can go forward and help them with that. So uh, these are some of the things that, that can help you in your slip and fall case. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact our office.